Hello to everybody. How are you? I hope you are fine. Well, I'm preparing my next lecture that I will give in a few days in Malaysia. I'm really excited to travel there. I'm going to be taking the flight in a couple hours. It's a long day. I'm well, really excited to share my, my content, my, my philosophy of life, and I'm a philosophy of work with my colleagues in, in, there in, in Asia and in Malaysia. Well, uh, I want to show you this video, the, this open bite that uh, I will show in the protocol step by step in the, in the lecture in Malaysia. But in order to show you that it's, 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 it's really, really quite easy when we do a good planification in our cases to get amazing results. This woman, when she came, she, she came complaining about her gun smile. And when she presented, it's a, a huge pro, protrusion of upper and lower incisors. Also, uh, the balance with the lips was terrible. She could then close the mouth with the mouth relaxed. As you can see, she has always the lips separate. And as you can see, the amount of volume of, of bone that is, is created by the B protrusion of upper and lower incisors. This is the situation that we have. Well, crossbite in the right side, midline deviation, also the oculus open is scanted. Look at the rotation that she's developing in the lower incisor with crowding. And, and well, this is the situation related to the gummy smile that she was complaining about. Um, as you can see here, we can see the arches. It's a really narrow upper arch. And that's why we have uh, some protrusion of the upper incisors. And also look at the crowding that is uh, related to the crowding also that we have in the upper. Okay, we have the diagnosis that I do to do the, the, the case. And I can see in this patient that she has a vertical pattern with the mandibular posture rotated. And because we have a narrow arch, the, the upper and lower incisors are be protruded. Okay, I analyze everything and I see the arch. And analyzing the ideal arts that I want to, to do in this place, I see that look at the amount of space that I'm losing in the posterior part because of the narrow arch. So this is the, the way I'm going to plan the case. I'm going to work in the transversal plane before thinking about any vertical movement. The idea is something like this, where we have an open bite, okay, like this. What I want is to do a posterior intrusion and after that, to allow the mandible to enter or rotate to solve the open bite, okay? And if I do that, I can close the open bite and I can give to my patient this beautiful smile without increasing the gummy smile. I haven't done any anterior extrusion, just posterior uh, intrusion, uh, but first you have to planify carefully uh, how to do the expansion. Okay, the sequence of movement where, as you can see, the number one is the start, so number two, when the expansion is done, and you can see that I haven't done any uh, extrusion movement, only expansion and intrusion. In, a, in the point three, you can see that is the, the amount of intrusion that I'm doing. And you can see in the super position that I haven't done any extrusion to close the open bite. And controlling with IPR, the position of upper and lower incisors, and doing posterior intrusion, I allow the mandible to enter rotate, and then you can see the point four how you close the open bite. These are the different attachments that I use. I put passive attachments in the back of from three to three. And in 18 months, I have this beautiful final result in class one, where I close the open bite, where the arches are beautiful before and after. Look at the beautiful occlusion is fantastic with the heel, with the help of the soft tissue. And the most important for hair, no gummy smile, mouth in balance with lips and teeth, amazing chains, doing intrusion with aligners and tats. I love the result. And well, this is the thing that I do in my clinic in, in Valencia. Uh, is well, I always say that there is no limitation in any in any of the cases that we face in our clinics. You have to know the protocols. Learn the protocols, apply common sense, study your best time. And well, if you go and want to learn more, please contact me to come to Master Coib, and it will be my pleasure to help you and also to be a part of, of you, uh, someone that is going to help you. Okay? Have a nice day.